Okay, let's see what I can do. This is my first doing video in English. So I try to explain everything what I do in English. Uh, tube fly, black and red. So black tube size M, if I remember right. I melt this and just push uh, straight iron so I can get this ready. This is not only way, this is only one uh, way to do it. So what we else need? Some largatun, silver, oval, medium size, unifloss black, Unifloss red, some fluorofibre red, and spectra duping. This is peacock brown and peacock eye feather. Of course, black fox. And uh, red fox also, and I put those eyes, uh, jungle cock, and super glue, chapter cap, and little bit varnish. This is my wife' old nail polish bottle. I am doing and clean that with acetone and put my own flag fly doing one is inside. So this is quite easy to make and you can see what I do. So this we need also. Ten slash zero fly doing thread black verbus. So first we put this and then, then we put this and if you want smooth and even body you have to put all your tight over body you have to fasten all the way body I put this under right there And this is that's for this order so I can get that tail a little bit up. So four rounds on Largatun and just tell you always put all the way body what you are putting on body so oh shit miss have to make a little bit again tightening No, it's okay. All the way. Body. Have to cut a little bit. Now, there is that tube end. Then we take this flora vibre. What you take, you have to think half is that amount what you put on your fly because this comes double it. You think little bit, you this is hook keeper, 
so the tail should be go farther than hook end. So it's about there. And all the way on the body and upper lip. So now you understand that Lagartum is first one what you put in your tube body. So the tail doesn't go straight over there, it is a little bit upwards. Usually I make it couple locking lockings because I want to cut this tail. I don't know how it see on camera, but I put like this and cuts little bit ang angle. Like this, it's a little bit you can push your finger a little bit. Now it looks for me, my eyes, quite okay. So then we take again Lagartun and now this Unifloss. This is about 30 centimeters long, the black one, and double it. Red one, half of length black one, and where is my logarithm? There. Oh, there. So. Now there is everything for making two body. Also this all I put under I leave about three millimeter. gap over there. But now everything is ready for making body. And start with the black ones. Nice and easy and quite tight. There is the ba basic body, and also these I double it here because it's then it's it keeps. Now we have black body over there. Then we put that lagartum thread. This also double it, double it, and then it is over there and stays over there. And now, if you're wondering on that red one, what I'm doing, you see after a couple of moments. So that's why there is that about three millimeter. We 
go three to five rounds backwards and back forwards again. So no. And this is a nice trick. Put your thread just outside of the tool body. Then you can use this rotation of fly tying pens and put this red one just near that lagarto. And this also under and double it. Now these two fly bodies ready. Nice and easy. That's it. Then we take this dubbing. About that size. This is easy to add more or leave some without. Maybe that is quite okay. This dubbing is only for that purpose, so the wing doesn't stuck in the in to body. Now there's little I call it ball, so the wing doesn't stay just on the body. It keeps little bit loose that wing. So. Then we start that red fox. I think this is about same thick as a normal mats. And this is under wing, so we have to measure that it's about same same length as tail. About there. About three wraps, and then you have to push a little bit of fingernail. It comes about almost 180 degrees above this tube. Now it looks okay. Couple wraps more. Then we take black one. Same size. About if you put this, it's about much thick. And this I put about one centimeter longer than underwing. So about there. About three two to three wraps and again push your fingernail and try to get even. Couple of wraps more. Usually I cut in this time this extra way. It's easier for me to make rest of this fly. Then a couple of wraps, those extras. Now it looks quite okay. Then we take this peacock. And this is, I take three that side and three that side. 
and this side, this tree, is going to the camera side. So then you can see that blue one, it shows for the fish. Not for human eyes, but yes. I take this side first. And I cut this ends off because I want to put this evenly like this. It's side by side, three feather. Just over there, under the two ink thread. I try to get nice and even. Couple of wraps only, and then you can split it out if it's needed. No, it doesn't work in this time. Now it looks a little bit better. Another side, three pieces, and cut those ends off. Because if you don't cut those ends off, then they glue it to each other. It is easiest way for me to cut it away. Oh. Uh oh. One is off. I have to put a new one. Fish doesn't care if there is five or six or seven to eight, it doesn't matter, but it looks a little bit better for human eyes if there's even amount. Now there is peacock. Then I put this Jungkook cheeks about there. Okay, three wraps. Other one. I measure a little bit over here so I can see it. It comes about even size or length. Looks quite okay. Couple wraps more. And then fell back. A couple of wraps more. So then I got this jungle books extras away. Then I put super glue in thread. And make the head ready and finish. Then you can press a little bit that duping. Then I put one is on the head. It's this one is is not for fish, it's only for human eye. So, that's all. Hopefully, you'll get some ideas for my doing. But this is for salmon and 
trout. If it sees red and black tooth fly. Thanks for watching.